Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this butterfly charm using 16 rubber bands, a crochet hook or your rainbow loom hook, and a pair of scissors. This design is based off of my original snowflake charm, but the idea for a butterfly comes from one of my viewers. Her name is Linda, and she posted the picture below on Rainbow Loom's Facebook page. I loved what she did with my snowflake, so I wrote to her and asked if I could share her idea with all of you. She was kind enough to say yes. So here we go. To start, you'll want to get your crochet hook ready. I'm using today a Susan Bates Quicksilver in size 3.75 millimeters, but you don't need to use this hook. It's just a lot of people ask me which one I'm using. So that's what it is. So for the design of your butterfly, you're gonna need four black bands to make up the head and the antennas and the body. And then you'll need 12 that are the colors you want the wings to be. To start, take first black rubber band and wrap it around your hook three times. Then take two black rubber bands, place them at the end of your hook, pull them tight, and push that black band to the center. Now what we're going to do is create two separate slip knots with the rubber bands that are here. One of these is going to be the antenna and one is going to be what keeps the wings tied together. So taking the two sides of one of those rubber bands on the hook, you're going to pull the band from one side through the center of the other and pull tight to create a knot. Then you're going to repeat the same thing with the other side, putting that loose rubber band back on your hook. And we're going to make this side go through the center of this side. So hook it and twist and pull through. And then you have a nice round circle for the head of your butterfly the two sides of the antenna, and the loop that's going to hold the wings together. So you can set that aside now and decide what color you want your wings to be. Each wing of the butterfly requires three colors. One color, the purple in here, for the tip of the wings, and I'm using a yellow and green in this example for the wing itself. You can use all one color if you want, or two colors, that's up to you. I'm going to use three different colors just so you can follow along for the positioning. Um, so take the rubber band that you want to be at the tip of the wing and wrap it around your hook three times. And then take the two colors or two rubber bands of the same color that you want to be the wing itself Place those on your hook, pull it tight, and slide over to the middle. And that's how you create one of the wings. I've looped around three times. Some of you who are more experienced or have stretchier rubber bands will want to do this four times. That'll work beautifully too. And if you have rubber bands that are less stretchy, you might only be able to get two. Uh, but for these, which are sort of the standard opaque rainbow loom rubber bands, three times seems to work out pretty well, and it makes it real easy to get them over the center of those rubber bands. So I'm going to repeat again to get another wing. So I'm putting this rubber band in the tip color around my hook three times, taking the two rubber bands that I want to be the body of the wing, Pulling it tight and then pushing that tripled over rubber band to the center. 
putting it back on my hook. Now we have two wings. Wrap around three times. One, two, three. Get your two other rubber bands. Pull tight. Push to the center. There you go, three wings. And one, two, three. And the fourth wing. The same way. Okay. So now you have your four butterfly wings set lined up on your hook. You can take the black bands that you constructed earlier and hook one side. Stick your finger through so that you can pull it tight. Whoops. There we go. And then slide your three wings onto that black band. Once you've got those all there, you're going to place the black rubber band over so that you don't lose circulation in your finger, which is a good idea. So now you have the black band one end, the four wings, and the head up on top here. We're going to take this black band and stretch it over the head of the butterfly. So stretch and over the head. There you go. And that is going to be the slip knot that holds those wings in place. You can take your hook out, tug to adjust. Some of you may want to stop here. This is a great basic butterfly um, and simply cut your loop to make the antenna. I like to add another black band for a body and tail. And to do that, you're going to want to get into the center of this rubber band here so that it will be in the middle of the head. Take another black band and pull it through that center. And then you're going to wrap it around both sides of the body so that it looks like that. And create another slip knot for your tail by pulling one end through the center of the other. That is how we make the butterfly and you have just one step remaining. If you're going to attach this dangling to a bracelet, you may not want to cut these antenna. That's up to you because this could dangle from there like that. But you could also add another rubber band to be the one that connects uh, in order to make the loose antenna. But to make the loose antenna, Take your scissors, put it in your loop, and cut. And then you have two very cute antennas for your butterfly. I hope you enjoyed making a butterfly with me today. If you did, please click like below so that I know to do more projects like this one. And if you'd like to find out when I post additional videos, please subscribe. That way you will be the first to know when I post more charms. I've already posted the snowflake 
and the four leaf clover, which are done with just a crochet hook. But there are also other fun charms on the rainbow loom, like the ice cream sundae and the waitress uniform. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Happy looming!